Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. If you are here, my name is Chris aka okay, the IT guy. As you already know, I'm a big fan of finding solutions when it comes to damaged or corrupted files and other things that are related to the files. In some cases, the videos that we take by using camera or any other devices can be damaged or corrupted due to some reasons like sudden shutdown of the camera, uncompleted or interrupted copy, or the damaged file header. At this point, we need a special repair software so as to be able to get our files back. So today, I'm going to show you how to repair the corrupted or damaged files by using the software from Tenoshare, which is now the 4D Dig Video Repair Tool. 4D Dig Video Repair Tool is a special repair software that can be used to, to repair the damaged or corrupted files by using simple steps that I'm going to show you. Before I start, I'm happy to tell you that Tenoshare is organizing the Black Friday event. There will be the free gift cards, there will be software from 9.9 .9 USD, and there will be some 70% uh, off on the purchase and the buy one get one campaign so don't miss that you can get the software from the first link in the description and you get 30 percent off on your purchase by using the coupon code that is provided okay so on my pc i'm going to go ahead and open the browser of my favorite in this case i'm using chrome and there's no limitation to that you can use any browser that you like for this case i'm going to write uh 4d dig um for the dig uh, repair and I'm going to press enter and there will be uh, there, there will be links that will come from such results and I'm going to choose this for the repair and the recover corrupt video and I'm going to choose this one and it will show me this welcome screen and it will tell me more about this one so uh, there will be the free version that you can use for evaluation and there is the buy now on where you can uh, buy this software to own it and to use most of it and I'm going to try the free trials so as to be able to evaluate this. But as I'm having a license, I will be inputting my license to get the full software. So I'm going to go ahead and click on a free download and I'm going to wait. I'm going to click on start download and I'm, uh, the download speed will depend upon your network. So I'm going to go ahead and open this because it's now done. And uh, as it will ask me to start the installation, I'm going to authorize it and click on yes and wait for the setup to start. In this case, to really, I ask me to uh, to install and we uh, did this checked and I'm going to wait until the installation is complete. And as now the installation will be completed, I will go ahead and click on start. So as we start this uh, software and it will be opening like this one. After that, it will uh, give you this uh, that the installation was successful. Okay. Thank you for installing that. So we have to minimize the browser again and to have a clean workspace like this one. And we will be waiting for the software to launch. And as it will be launched to look like this one, you can see that there will be the uh, there will be the tab for video repair and for the photo repair. So I'm going to go ahead and authorize my software by using by clicking on here and I'm going to use the license that I have in here. So in this case, I'm going to input my email as this one. And I'm going to paste in my license key and click on register and wait. It will give me this. I'm going to minimize. And you can see that I have now the plan that is valid until this day. So I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, OK. And for this case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, input my uh, file that I want to repair. For example, I was having the video from here. When I try to pray, it, it is not praying. So I'm going to show you this before I do the processes so as to show you the problem that we are facing. So whenever I try to pray this video, it is not praying because it is damaged. So I'm going to show you on how to fix that. So uh, for that case, without further ado or wasting any time, I'm going to go ahead and input my... So I'm going to go ahead and choose the video to repair. So in this case, I'm going to click on add. And in this case, I'm going to choose, for example, let me choose the video one. Uh, for example, let me choose this one. And after importing this file, I can go ahead and click on start repair so as to be able to start the repair. And once the repair will be complete, I can see that there will be the results and the video will be repaired and it will be like this one. So uh, to save this video, I can go ahead and click on export and choose the desktop or any other location and click on OK. And for example, there will be some cases when the simple repair is not working. So I'm going to try to input the second video. I'm going to click on add and I'm going to add this second video and uh, click on start repair. 
And for here, you can see that it, it was not able to repair because you can see this, uh, this is a red, a red alert. And for this case, I can use the sample video, which can be from the same device or from the same location. And I use it for the advanced repair. So to do that, I click on here for the advanced repair. I do on the browser to browse the sample video and I can sample the video like this one and click on start repair. And in that case, when I see that now the advanced repair have been completed and you can see that the video now is repaired. You can go ahead and export like you did earlier. So as we have seen, there's no need to panic whenever we get corrupted files. As long as we have the right tool like Tony Share for DD, you can use the same steps that we used and be able to repair your files. So don't forget to check the description for the download link and be alerted on the Black Friday. I told you that there will be a lot of offers, so be alerted. So this marks the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, go ahead and press the thumbs up. If you're coming on this channel for the first time, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace out.